welcome in. I'm Duncan. You're watching Running Water Rights YouTube channel. And I want to share with you a little bit about a recent painting I've done here in the in the works. Um, I had a frame here and it was donated to me by Framing Resource. Thank you, Framing Resource, for sharing your excess materials with me. And so I thought I should make a work of art to fit that frame. So what I did was find some foam core and cut it to size and then I um, thought I'd cover it with paper. Um, I had this pink paper that was also brought to me and I think it's construction paper or some kind of masking paper that they sell at a hardware store. It comes in big rolls and I really love this pink paper because I wouldn't expect uh, just a large roll of, of all the colors. It's sort of this dark mauve pink dusty rose color. Um, so I think that's really nice. And so uh, decided to glue this paper on the um, foam core and so I thought to myself I'm not going to be stingy I'm going to put a lot of glue on there because I don't want it to fall off or not stick well I wanted it to be nice and even and smooth that was my hopes for it uh, however I put too much glue and the paper pretty immediately started to ripple with ripples of glue underneath the paper's, paper's surface. So, you know, I'd seen air bubbles before, but I'd never seen pockets of glue rippling under paper. So this was new for me and very interesting. And I thought to myself, well, this ripple design is super natural. It's just what happens when materials get together and get too wet. It forms this pattern, this texture. So I'm gonna run with it as, you know, celebration. So um, that was the start of this design was based off of the materials and how they came together and collaborated with the way I was making decisions. So, I just felt like that was uh, an important part of my creative process and I wanted to share that with you. And um, I'm going to give you a closer look up at this painting here when I'm done telling you about it. There's a little bit more to listen to. So after the glue, you know, was done and rippled, then I was like, okay, if I did a rubbing on this with some kind of a powdered, dry material, I could do a rubbing over the top and see how that works with the ripples. The, there was like these dunes of glue under the paint, of, under the paper. And so when I were to rub, how would that be? I mean, the paper was slightly moist because of the glue and it had texture. So I sprinkled on some powdered graphite that I bought from the craft store and rubbed my hands over the top of it, kind of feeling into it and it acts almost like sand but also it will leave a mark on the paper if you rub it in, especially if it's a little damp. So um, I did that over pretty much the whole thing. I even took an eraser and scrubbed into it so the eraser actually made darker marks because you know sometimes when you have a lot of graphite and then you try to use an eraser the eraser just kind of clumps together all the graphite in that spot and so it becomes darker for a second before it comes up it's always darkest before the dawn check it out check it out okay so yeah, that's what happens with the graphite when I'm using my eraser. So I kind of made some darker smudges on the product. <laughs> the painting, okay. Whew. Painting um, with
with the eraser and then I uh, just kind of stood up <clears throat> the board and shook off the ex excess graphite onto another board which I then started another painting with that one. Um, it's looking pretty messy right now but that's okay. Um, and then after the graphite was done I, I pretty much uh, You know, I, I put glue on a different piece of board that I had done the excess graphite on. I covered it with glue because I wanted the graphite to stick. And it was, was just foam core, so powder graphite on foam core isn't going to stick. So what I did on this other piece was pour some glue on it. Then I had this really gluey board. Okay, I was like, what do I do with this? It's too much. I started painting, you know, brushing the glue around and the powdered graphite and it was getting to be a great mess. So I decided to stamp it on, back on this honey baby child. Okay, so I was, took the glue and the graphite from this other piece that had fallen off of this one and then um, stamped it back on in three pieces. And so then it became kind of wet with glue. Um, and the ripples took up the glue. So where there was a ripple, there would be glue. And then where there was a valley, no glue. So then I started placing my handmade paper over the top, laying it over, kind of like this paper. I made recycled paper with old mail and tissue paper, things like that. Um, so if I stick it on there, it'll stick to the glue and rip it off, and then pieces of paper get stuck to that painting. So now it's a paper painting with graphite and handmade paper that's been um, transferred, torn, uh, onto the surface to make little stars highlighting this galactic wave watery bliss so uh, pretty excited about this new work and I'm wondering if anybody's interested in having it with them so let me know um, maybe I could do a giveaway or a raffle something like that because uh, having large scale work that inspires you and connects you with something bigger um, is nice uh, nice for support we need support for each other, so I want to do that for you. Um, okay, I guess I'll get the camera a little closer up so you can take a close look. Alright, thank you for joining me today for my paint story and sharing this process with you. It's a joy and um, an honor. I just can't believe this is real life, so thanks for being here and when you can. and. Um, you know, never feel pressured to watch my videos if you don't want to, okay? So you can see some of this texture and patterning. And the texture and the patterning just happened on its own. It wasn't something that I had pre-planned or expected of these materials. It's just what happened. So having um, that openness to the creative potential of what we're working with is key in this process. Thanks for joining me today. Um, and I wish you well on your creative journey.